So I'm Peter Larson. I'm with, who am I with? Who am I talking to? I'm Sarah, Sarah Karay. Sarah. And Sarah, just tell us briefly, where are we today? What, what, what are we looking at here? We are in Silwan, uh, especially in El Bustan neighborhood. That's... Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. <laughs> So, so you said El Bustan meant garden. This was a garden at one point. Is yes. that correct? Okay. And now you said your 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 family is from Siwan. You're from Siwan. Yes. What what's the problem in Siwan? Why is there friction between Palestinians and the Israeli government in Siwan? There are two uh, there are two main organizations for settlers and uh, and for the government for the government right. to try to to take the land of Siwan for the government. One of them is Atarat Tuhanim. The other is El Ad. Right. El Ad means El Air David, which means to the city of David. Right. And they work mainly in Silwan to try to make the houses, to take the land, give demolishing orders to make a garden. And so, and you were telling me, in, in addition to the demolition orders, you're also saying that they are scaring the children. And tell me a little bit about that. They're trying to force everyone to. Uh, get out of Silwan by making them afraid uh, using the force of arresting people, uh, demolishing houses and even the when they are children younger than 18 they give them house arrest orders which means they can't get, get out of their house or even go to school and sometimes they, they give them this order outside of Silwan. What, 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 what kinds of things would children be arrested for? What, what, what were the reasons that they would give for arresting people? Yeah, and sometimes they don't have reason. They just arrest them because he, he's walking on the street and just making things up for him to, to make it legal for arresting him, such as throwing stones or just thinking about uh, doing something, mm. planning for okay. doing something, even if he was you know, under the legal age. And so far, have the Israelis been successful in uh, making very many people leave here? No. And even the even the houses were demolished. Right. People of Syria are trying to rebuild it. Uh -huh. And the demolishing orders that are in uh, Al Bustan neighborhood. We are trying to delay. Yeah, and there are so in few people of Silwan who uh, went out of Silwan, mm. but you know, we can't consider them as uh, they went because they were afraid. There's other okay. reasons. Now you showed me a building far up on the other side there, uh, which I think uh, I had seen in a in a movie before, which was uh, a house that the settlers had taken taken over uh, up there. And they had done it on some land where they apparently had purchased it from a Palestinian who had sold it to them. Does that happen from time to time? It happens, but not with this building. This building was built to be a settlement, uh -huh. but they took uh, some other houses in the same neighborhood. Right. They just kicked out the the Palestinians from it and to take it. But you said they kicked them out, but they. Per Someone purchased the land, either directly or indirectly, to move in, correct? Yes, yeah. and this might be happened a long time ago, but they just take it... Uh, I see, take it over now. Yes. Okay, well, thank you very much for introducing us to your world. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. <laughs>